awak. Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, example number one. So, here we have two particles A and B of mass 10 kg and 30 kg respectively are separated 100 cm apart. So, for question A, find the net gravitational field strength on a test mass of 1 kg if it is placed at point P as shown in the figure below. So, before we start, let's write the equation of the gravitational field strength. So, AG is equal to GM over R squared. So, saya nak tekankan dekat sini, soalan bagi awak a test mass of 1 kg. Maknanya, a test mass of 1 kg akan diletakkan dekat point P. So, soalan nak kita kira the net gravitational field strength at point P on that test mass. Jadi, jangan keliru dekat sini. Based on this general equation of AG, the capital M is referring to the point mass. Okay? Uh, so, dekat sini adalah uh, point mass. Jadi, untuk soalan nombor satu ini, kita ada dua point mass. Means that point mass A dan juga point mass B. Jadi, dekat sini kalau kita lihat, this is a point which is point P. So, gravitational field strength on point P due to mass A. So, the first point mass referring to mass A. And another gravitational field strength on point P due to mass B. So, means that we have a second point mass which is mass B. So, bila kita ada dua point mass kat sini dan kita nak kira what is the net gravitational field strength dekat point P di mana kedudukan point P ini berada di tengah-tengah antara mass A dan juga mass B. Pertama sekali perlu ingat yang gravitational field strength adalah vector quantity so mesti ada direction. Jadi sekarang sebelum kita mulakan kita punya calculation, kita lukis dulu direction of the gravitational field strength on point P due to mass B. So saya letak AGB and the direction of the gravitational field strength on point P due to mass A. So AGA. Okay. So, since the direction of AGB is to the right, so means that it is positive value. So, we take AGA is to the left as negative value. So, kita nak kira the net gravitational field strength at point P. So, now we can write that total gravitational field strength at point P is equal to AGB plus negative AGA. Jadi negatif ini tolong jangan tertinggal. Okay, since the direction is opposite direction dengan AGB which is to the left, dalam calculation mesti masukkan negative sign. Kalau tidak, jawapan awak memang akan salah. Okay, so based on the gravitational field strength equation, since this is AGB, gravitational field strength due to mass B, so bila kita masukkan kat sini, G, M here is the mass of the point mass B, bukan mass of the test mass. Walaupun soalan ada trick dekat sini, dia bagi awak test mass adalah 1 kg. Kalau you masuk dekat sini 1 kg, jawapan you akan salah. Okay, so GMB and here is RB squared. Okay, RB which is the distance from point P to mass B. So, kalau daripada mass A ke point P adalah 20 cm, so, means that daripada point P to mass B adalah uh, 100 tolak 20 which is 0 0.8 meter eh, which is 80 centimeter. Boleh eh? Okay. So, minus G here is MA since the gravitational field strength due to mass A over RA squared. Alright. So, jangan salah masuk ya nilai ini RB dan juga RA where RB is 0 0.8 meter. RA is 0.2 meter. Okay. So, substitute all the values. Tapi, saya nak factoriskan G ni. Okay. 6.67. Exponent negative 11 here. And then, mass B is equal to 30 kg. RB is 0.8 squared. Minus. 
So MA is 10 kg over 0 0.2 squared. Okay, so now let's try to solve this problem. So it's equal to negative 1.35 times 10 power of negative 8 newton per kg. Okay, you need jangan lupa. So we have negative answer here means that the duration of the gravitational field strength at point P will be to the left. So kita boleh tulis asing lah. Magnitude. Okay. So the magnitude of gravitational field strength at point P is equal to 1.35 times 10 power of negative 8 newton per kg. But the direction, okay? So the direction is equal to to the left. Okay? To the left ataupun towards mass A. Okay? So finish part A. So B. Determine a point on the line joining mass A and mass B. Okay, line joining mass A and mass B means that uh, a position antara mass A dan mass B where the net gravitational field strength at that point is equal to zero. So, kita nak cari dekat point mana antara mass A dan mass B ini di mana gravitational field strength dekat point itu adalah Zero. Jadi kalau kita lukis secara ringkas, so kalau saya ada mass A dekat sini, okay, and then saya ada another one, mass B. So from here, okay, on the line joining them, so we want to find, okay, at which point, okay, the gravitational field strength is equal to zero. Jadi kalau saya ambil dekat point ini, contohnya, jadi kalau saya ambil point ini dan saya namakan ini adalah X. Boleh? Jadi kalau tadi adalah X, so ini adalah 1 eh. 1 meter which is 100 centimeter. Saya tukar kepada meter 1.0 minus X. Okay? So kalau soalan tak label mana X, kalau soalan dah label tak ada masalah. Kalau soalan belum label, so awak label je mana-mana. Awak nak letak X dekat sini boleh ataupun ini yang awak nak letakkan X. Okay? Tak ada masalah. Cuma dekat jawapan akhir nanti mention X tu kedudukan daripada mass A ke ataupun mass B. Okay, so since the question give us that the net gravitational field strength at point P is equal to zero, jadi kalau kita lukis, okay, kalau kita lukis, okay, direction, okay, this one is AG, B, and this is direction of AG, A. Okay, uh, so kalau kita tulis, total, eh, total gravitational field strength at point P now is equal to zero. Soalan dah bagi dah. Okay, it's equal to zero. So now we can substitute the equation, okay, AGB to the right, so positive plus negative AGA which is to the left, okay, so negative, okay, and it's equal to zero. Soalan dah bagi dah equal to zero, okay, hanya dekat point P. Ha, kalau point P soalan A tadi lain sebab point P tu adalah daripada ha, mass A 20 cm. Okay, ini point P ni kita tak tahu dekat mana. Saya main letak saja dan saya namakan dia sebagai X. Boleh? Alright. So now rearrange this equation. AGB is equal to AGA. So G. So mass here make sure mass of B. The point mass is B over RB squared. Equal to G MA over RA squared. Okay. So now we can cancel. Alright. So MB Kita dah tahu nilai dia berapa tadi? 30 kg. Okay, over RB. So, RB is the distance from the point here to mass B which is X tadi. Ini eh, X. So, kita masukkan X squared. And equal to mass A is 10 over 1 minus X squared. Okay, sama macam kita buat sebelum ni gravitational force. Okay, saya akan pindahkan yang ada squared dekat one side. Yang ni saya akan bawa turun ke bawah. So, dia akan jadi 1 minus X. Okay, over X. So, ni ada squared. Equal to 10 over 30. Boleh eh? So, sekarang saya nak hilangkan squared. Saya tak nak expand. Jadikan dia quadratic equation. Jangan buat macam tu eh. Nanti akan ada mistake. Okay. So, saya akan cancel saja yang squared ini. Alright. So now saya akan tulis dekat tepi ni tak muat. Okay. So dia akan jadi 1 minus x over 
x equal to square root 10 over 30 is equal to 0 0.577. So 1 minus x equal to 0 0.577x. Therefore, 1 is equal to 1.577x. So x is equal to 0 0.63 meter. Okay. So x is 0 0.63 meter. Kita dah lukis tadi dalam gambar rajah. X ini adalah daripada mass B. So saya namakanlah x equal to 0 0.63 meter. Saya akan tulis from okay, mass B. Okay. Kalau x awak itu daripada mass A, jawapan dia tak akan macam inilah. Jawapan dia akan jadi x equal to uh, berapa kat situ? 1 tolak 0.63 dia akan jadi 0.37 meter. Ini untuk jawapan siapa yang labelkan X dia from mass A. Okay. So ada dua jawapan lah. Ini pun diterima. Ini pun diterima. So tengok pada gambar raja awak lah disebabkan soalan ni dia tak bagi X tu dekat mana. Jadi ada dua jawapan untuk soalan ini. Tak kisah you nak labelkan X awak dekat dengan B ataupun X awak ni dekat dengan mass A. Okay. So finish example number one. So let's proceed to the next example. So now example number 2, so here given that the mass and the radius of the earth are 81 and 4 times respectively that of the moon. Okay, maksud dia, dia bagi tahu dekat sini, mass of the earth is equal to 81 mass of the moon. Okay, and the radius of the earth is given 4 times the radius of the moon. Okay, ha, bising sikit lah dekat luar hujan. Okay, so what is the gravitational field strength on the surface of the moon? So we want to find the gravitational field strength on the surface of the moon. Okay, so kalau dekat sini, let's say kita ada, uh, this is the earth, for example, and on the surface of the earth, okay, we know that the gravitational field strength on the surface of the earth is equal to 9.81 newton per kg. Kan? Okay, and the equation of gravitational free strength on the earth is G times the mass of the earth over the radius of the earth, which means from the center of the earth to the surface and it's given RE. Okay, RE squared. Okay, jangan tertinggal squared. So now, soalan suruh kita cari gravitational free strength on the surface of the moon. So, saya letak AGM and it's equal to G mass of the moon over the radius of the moon squared. Jadi masalah dekat sini soalan tak bagi kita mass of the moon and the mass of the earth. Tapi daripada maklumat yang diberikan di sini, okay, kita boleh tulislah where mass of the moon is equal to mass of the earth over 81 and radius of the moon is equal to radius of the earth over 4. Okay, so yang ni kita boleh substitutekan nilai dia yang kita dah ada tadi. Okay, so jom kita masukkan dulu. So G, mass of the moon is equal to mass of the earth over 81 over radius of the moon is equal to radius of the earth over 4. So kita kena gunakan maklumat yang kita ada daripada soalan. Okay, so now bertingkat-tingkat kita punya ni solution. So kita simplify. So G, M, E, okay, over 81, so over R, E squared, eh, R, E squared, sorry, R, E squared over 16. Okay, so daripada sini saya boleh simplifykan lagi. Alright, so dia akan jadi, apa tu, G, M, E over R, E squared, okay. So, yang dekat sini dia akan jadi 81 over 16. Okay. So, awak tekan kalkulator. 81 over 16 tu you akan dapat berapa. So, tak muat ni saya tulis dekat sebelah ni. Okay. So, AGM is equal to. So, 81 over 16 you akan dapat 5.063. Okay. 5.063. So, yang ni you akan dapat. 5.063 eh. And remember, look at here. So, GME over RE squared is actually the gravity. 
So this is actually the gravitational field strength on the Earth's surface which is 9.81 Newton per kg. Okay, so kita boleh masukkan lah. Okay, kita boleh masukkan 1 over 5.063 times 9.81. Okay, so tekan calculator kita boleh dapat gravitational field strength on the surface of the moon is equal to 1.94 Newton per kg. Okay, so this is the answer. Make sure you tulis dengan unit yang betul. So finish example 2, let's proceed to example number 3.